Hey guys, so I really apologize for my appearance. Um, I had a horrible headache since the minute I woke up today. And um, it doesn't help that the time changed. Because <laughs> um, it means, ugh, I just don't want to go to be bed late. And uh, it just took a whole hour out of my day and I, night or whatever you want to call it. And I felt like crap all day. And, um, yeah, so I woke up really early on a Saturday because Savannah decided to wake up real early. Um, and I didn't get to bed last night um, till like 4 or 5 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, it was Friday, so Cheyenne didn't have school the next morning. So I took advantage of it, and I was still going to, you know, obviously get up early. Um, but Savannah woke up real early, and my husband was working on... on uh, he works um, Saturdays. As long as he can work, he will work any days that he can, because um, it's only for a few weeks he'll have um, work. But um, I did a video last night um, updating you guys on everything, so I will post that. But this video is not about that. Um, but yeah, so I woke up with a headache. Um, the video is not about that either, but I just want to tell you guys. I woke up with a headache, um, a really bad one. I haven't had one of these headaches for a very long time. Um, I got a headache around, like, right before my cycle started, or right before I got my period, like a day before, and then I got, um, this, this cycle has been full of headaches, kind of. Um, I was just bragging about how, even to my doctor, how um, I haven't had, ha I've been really good on headaches recently, and I even told my neurologist that and everything, and, uh, it bit me in the ass, basically, because um, I usually get them around my period time, and, you know, two or three headaches, maybe two, usually. I think this time, I don't know if I had three this time. One be Yeah, I had three. One before I started my period, then two when I was on my period, I think. And and then uh, today was the first day I was off my period. My period's on the last six days, I'm off on the seventh day. And I don't know if that has something to do with it, but yeah, I woke up with a headache. A really bad one. It was one, it was kind of headache that pounds, like when you get up or whatever, just pounds, pounds, pounds. Oh my god. It was on this side. And what scares me now is that I'm starting to get a headache on this side. I always, like back in the day when I used to get headaches, it would do that. It would switch sides. Um, like one day I'd have it on this side and the next day I'd have it on that side. So I'm really hoping to God that I don't, I don't, I don't get a headache tomorrow because I want to enjoy the weekend and this actually happened to me last weekend. I got a headache because my period started. So it really sucks. And today looked like a nice day out, too. Um, we didn't get out till night because basically I was just not wanting to go outside. I felt like crap. I felt like I had to throw up because it was such a bad headache. But yeah, I'm done talking about it. I'm talking way too long about it. But basically, the bottom line is that um, we didn't get out of the house till 7. We went to eat dinner. Because I was just feeling too sick. We had gym boys. Probably not the best thing to eat. But it wasn't the most expensive thing. So we chose to eat that. I felt better. We actually went to Walmart afterwards. And did some grocery shopping. Um, I mean I don't feel hella bad. Obviously I'm making a video right now. But it's just. This side is starting to threaten to become a headache. Anyways I don't want to. I'm talking way too much about this. And I apologize. I just got requested um, from my friend on here. Um, to do a video on how we got, me and my husband got married, and how my family uh, reacted and all that stuff. Well, well, my my family met my husband um, in November of 2002, and my mom's first reaction was to get married, um, of course. And my husband actually had a ring on him, and I didn't even know, but he proposed to me in front of everybody. Because she like, she's like, are you prepared to marry my daughter? All this crap. Uh, but before she was saying all that, um, well, first of all, when my husband, when my husband went to meet my, my husband, my mom, when she found out about everything, um, she found out about me. I actually came clean to her about sneaking out and all that stuff. And then, um, well, she like expected it, um, because. Oh God, yeah, it's just, it's just so complicated. She expected it because. Um, I called her from my husband's phone and because I told her that I was at my friend's house, but I guess they knew it was a different number. So 
uh, the neighbors across it's really late and we've been here, I've been here really all night so if you hear me pause that's why but basically I called her I'm gonna spend phone number but I blocked it but anyways somehow they uh, knew it wasn't my friend's number so that night um, they were on to me and they didn't tell me it was a pregnancy test but they told me I had a pee in a cup and uh, I knew it was a pregnancy test and yeah and um, I just I came clean I told my mom about him and then that was all real scary because I told her his age and everything I didn't lie when I told her but yeah basically um, my mom called my step uncle or whatever um, to come over and he had a bat behind his back and stuff and I mean, my ba my family basically was trying to scare my husband um, but my husband came in there you know handsome looking and all nice everything like that and um, it really helped that he was from Switzerland I'll tell you that because my husband you know he he I told him um, before he came well this is true too you know like the whole law thing but my husband didn't know obviously that you cannot date a 14 year old when you're over age but see like I, I think I told you guys in other videos that we didn't really plan to be together it just happened um, because he met my friend first and all that stuff. So we, our relationship just happened. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, my, my, my mom my mom told him a whole bunch of shit, you know, lied about me and stuff, making me sound real bad, and trying to make him not want to be with me. Because I think she was honestly kind of jealous, because he was such a nice young guy. Even if he was older than me, he was a really really put together guy he was really nice really sweet whatever um but yeah when the marriage question came up um she's like are you prepared to marry my daughter because she thought he would obviously get scared and say no and then he whipped out the ring and she looked at the ring before i could even look at it um and she's like it's not good enough you have to get her a better ring for you know old telling them the ring wasn't good enough and honestly it was uh, it, i think it had a couple diamonds on it and it was gold I thought it was very beautiful, and I told my mom it was good enough for me. I don't need no fancy ring. Well, to make a long story short, she made my husband go into debt and get me a freaking 2000 over $2,000. Well, I think the whole set was like 6000 I don't even know. Um, yeah. He got me platinum rings, an engagement, and a wedding ring. And, yeah, he took credit out for it and everything, and I wish he really wouldn't have done that. But... So yeah, I was engaged at 14. That's how my mom took it. Obviously, she didn't give a shit um, too much. Um, she just wanted to make sure that he was going to take me off her hands, basically. So yeah, that that's how that went. Um, she did make my husband, um, the only way I could see him is if he came over to my house and we'd hang out in the living room. So, but the funny thing was, like, you know, she was all saying, oh, I'm going to keep an eye on you guys, and you guys are not going to do nothing, and whatever, whatever, um, because I did tell her that I did have sex with him once. Because the only reason why I told her that I had sex with him, period, is because that she was going to make me go to the doctors and get checked. So I told her I had sex with him once, which was a total lie. We had sex way more than that. Um, so yeah, she basically wanted to control us, to make sure we weren't going to have sex anymore, which is understandable, of course. But she never kept to her word. She, w she locked herself in her bedroom. He would come over whenever I really wanted him to come over, and she wouldn't watch us. Um... We would just have to be in the living room, and I'm not going to lie, me and my husband had sex in my mom's living room, because we knew she wasn't going to come out. It was nighttime, she wasn't in, you know, and we went in the backyard and had sex. I mean, that's how much my mom was paying attention, and you can't really blame me, because that was her responsibility to watch me. She allowed him to still come over, you know, she even asked him to buy her cigarettes, you know, so, um, yeah, it's just really ridiculous. Um, it's really, like, it's a joke, really. It really is, like, it, whatever. But, yeah, so, um, that's, you know, we are still trying for a baby. Um, but I, since my mom wasn't, you know, it, it really wouldn't have mattered if I, would, if I would have went to his house or not. But, yeah, so I started sneaking out again around April, around May, I think it was. And that's how we conceived my daughter. Um, I was sneaking out to his house for I would see him more often. Um, but yeah, so, and it was just, you know, have more privacy and all that stuff. So yeah, and she didn't catch me, you know. 
she should have known all this. She knew I was sneaking. I told her too when I told her about my husband that I, I was sneaking out through the window and everything, and she didn't. She did nothing to uh, stop me. You know, like she did nothing to to make sure to prevent me from sneaking out the window again. Just put it that way. And you would think that since she knew that I was sneaking out the window, that she would you know check on me to make sure I was in my room and all that stuff. No. Nope. You know, and she heard me. I mean, the funny thing is, too, like, I'd be getting, taking my shower and everything late at night because I would meet him late at night. And she didn't, you know, think anything that I was blowing my hair at 12 a.m., you know. She didn't, she didn't care or I don't know. She just was in her own little world. But, yeah, I had, you know, I did what I really wanted around that time. Um, You know, that's when, I mean... I got locked in my room and stuff back when I was like 12 to 13, but once I hit like 14 and a half, I was, I mean, she, she didn't take care of me, you know, like I would cook myself dinners and stuff, I mean, it, there was barely anything in her cupboards, and, you know, she didn't really cook dinner anymore, um, but this is a whole other thing, but she, that's a whole other thing, I'm not going to get into that, um, but yeah, she was sneaking, basically, make a long story short, she was sneaking me Prozac, um, that's what she said, but she never really cooked dinner, so I don't know how she could have. Um, yeah, she made me see a psychiatrist back when I was, like, 12, I think, 12 or 13, I'm not sure, I forgot. And, um, to, yeah, and she basically made, she told me I could not say a word to go along with everything she said, or unless she would put me in the foster home, whatever, um, the orphanage or whatever. So, she basically got Prozac in my name, but she would give it to my brother, um, because his insurance was out, so yeah. That's how that went, um, but she didn't tell me that, 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 that was her goal until I was grown up, <laughs> so I thought it was for me, and, um, I was really scared because I knew I didn't need it, but yeah, that's a whole other thing, um, for, you know, as far as his parents, they didn't meet me until I had Cheyenne, the first time I met them, I already had Cheyenne, Cheyenne was like a few days old, so that's how that went, and, um, when his mom knew about me, um, the first time, I don't know when he told his mom about me, um, we met October 2002, and, um, I believe, I think he told her, yeah, yeah, he did tell them about me, um, right away, I think, because, um, when they were there on vacation, um, at his house for Christmas in 2002, I was on the phone with my husband, and his mom was saying, you're still on the phone with her? What does a 14-year-old have to talk about for that long? So, yeah, um, I guess they probably thought it was a little weird. But, I mean, honestly, the first time I met them, they didn't say anything. They accepted me, really. I mean, yeah. They didn't really ever, I mean, it's really weird how everybody accepted each other. Um, we got married, I don't know if I explained this in other videos, but... We got married um, when I was over six months pregnant, um, and it was because the hospital found out about my hair. Touch myself, just touch my nose. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to touch my hair. But yeah, the hospital found out um, about my husband's age because my mom told me to write it down, and I told her, you know, why can't we lie? You know, they don't have to meet my husband. Whatever, it don't matter who knocked me up. But she deliberately wrote down his age, so of course the hospital freaked out. And so basically, um, yeah, things happened. Like they, you know, got all crazy, wanted my husband's information, threatening and everything like that. So obviously I was looking into getting married ASAP. We went, you know, to Woodland. We went to Nevada, call, you know, research every state. Um, there was, I think it was in North Carolina or South Carolina, Myrtle Beach or Myrtle. Yeah, Myrtle Beach. They would have married us. Uh, they would have married us, um at 14, um, but I was 15 at the time, so, but that was really far away, um, and then Texas, Amarillo is where we got married, and, um, yeah, I think you only had to be 14 or 15 like that to get married, and with my mom's, uh, signature, we were able to get married, and my mom was all for it, you know, I mean, my mom knew my husband for a year at that point, almost a year at that point, got married on October 9th, 2003, so, um, so yeah, she, was all for it, you know, to drive down there, it was, it was no problem, um, and when she found out, I had to tell her I was pregnant, um, it was, right, I think it was after she got out of 
the hospital for trying to kill herself for the first time. First time that I know of, at least. Um, I think I told you guys a story before, but yeah, of how she tried to kill herself. But yeah, so, um, I, we're just watching, we always watch soaps together, and we're laying next to each other, and, um, during a commercial, I, um, told her, I'm like, I'm, I'm pregnant, and, um, the first thing she said is like, we need to get baby blankets, or something like that. <laughs> she wasn't mad, um, she wasn't, she was very happy. And it gave her something to live for, honestly. Um, she was very excited. I heard her on the phone with my sister the next day, um, telling my sis sister, I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's a girl. They really wanted me to have a girl. Um, really excited. They were really excited. I mean, you know, they were. Um, but then, you know, it's just, they were excited about the baby, but they still treated me like shit, if that makes any sense. Um, I mean, that's probably never going to change. Like, my sister, you know, tried to fight me when I was pregnant, tried to smack me, all that stuff. Um, you know, trying to hurt me, though, you know. Not necessarily trying to hurt the baby, but, you know, that's just because she's evil. But, yeah, um, nothing really stops her, you know. The only pregnancy I did not fight with my sister is with when I was pregnant with Savannah, physically. Um, every other pregnancy, I physically fought her. Yeah, but, yeah, we got into some kind of argument and she would put her hands on me or whatever but pretty much so yeah anyway so that's how that happened um let me see what her other question was let's see yeah that's pretty much it i i moved on my husband um in March, I think? No, in February of 2004. So Cheyenne was, I think, almost, I think it was, a, it was the end of February. Um, and it was all due because my mom had a gas leak in her house that she found out about. So um, immediately she told me to go to my husband's um, because there was a gas leak. So that's how that went. Um, and I actually kind of took it, I was, it was kind of hard move it in with him, um, cause I was homesick, you know, I missed my mom, believe it or not, I did, um, just being at home, I guess, you know, cause I was really nervous and shy around my husband still, I was very shy around him, I, I mean, it was so funny, I did not even want to eat in front of him, it, our relationship was still new, you know, I was only with them for a little bit over a year, um, when Cheyenne was born, so, you know, and I only saw him, not that, I mean, I, I saw him a few, I mean, you know, few times a week, but still, you know, it wasn't like we were living together, so, it's different when you live with somebody, you know, it's, it's a big adjustment, so, yeah, um, and I just never moved back in with her, you know, until, you know, we had financial problems, but it had to, but, you know, um, that's how that went, and, um, yeah, I don't know if I talked about this in other videos or not, but, um, at least for the people that are new subscribers, don't have to go back and, all, and look at all my old videos, but, yeah, we got married, um, in a courthouse, and, um, a really nice, um, judge married us, and she read us, like, this really sweet poem, um, really welcoming, she didn't judge us or nothing, but we did get married in a green room, green walls and carpet, I wish we would have taken pictures, oh, that is, like, one of my biggest regrets, um, we didn't have any cameras or anything, with us, because we just picked up and drove to Texas. Within 24 hours, we were there. Um, my mom and my husband drove, so it was crazy. It was really crazy. But then the hospital couldn't do nothing. It was like magic, so that was awesome. And we've been together ever since, so, you know, that's our story. And I wish, you know, someday we could get married over again, but if not, it's whatever. I mean, you know, I don't believe that you have to have a big fancy wedding to get married, you know, I mean... We're still together, so, you know, it worked for us. And, yeah. Um, but it would be nice to have some sort of wedding. But it's like, who would we invite? You know, like, I don't got a lot of friends that are worthy of coming. And um, my family, <laughs> you guys pretty much know that story. Um, my husband's family, I don't know. I mean, of course they'd be invited, but it'd be a very small wedding if they just came. Yeah, because, you know, only his mom and dad will probably won't come because his brother you know he has a family of his own so who knows so anyways yeah probably when we build up more friends and 
I don't know. They just, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Just have our kids there and have a little ceremony. Maybe, I don't know. But anyways, um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask if anybody else does or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired. And a stupid time change, so that really sucks. But I look like total crap, and I really apologize. I need to do my roots again. And I was talking to my husband about it. I'm like, you know, it really sucks that I had to get a headache today. Not to say that I would have done my roots today. Probably, I'll probably do them on the sometime during the weekday. But yeah, I I dread doing it. It's not that much. I mean it. It stresses me out more than what it is, what it really does. Like, the anticipation of having to bleach my hair stresses me out, if that makes any sense. It's just a long, it's not really, like, even a long process. Uh, I just don't like dealing with it, but yeah. Anyways, I'm really hungry, too. That really sucks, because when I was eating dinner, um, I ordered three quesadillas at Jim Boy's, and I only ate two, because I was feeling sick. Um, stupid headaches always make me feel sick. And plus, I didn't eat all day, so when you don't eat all day, you, get, you feel sick anyways, but yeah. So I didn't eat that much, and now I'm really hungry, and don't know, I don't know, I was eating, <laughs> so funny, I was eating goldfish <laughs> um, the extra cheese ones, so I actually have a box, I have them right here. I was eating these, right before I went to bed last night, and I wonder if that gave me, ow, shit. What the hell? I just bent my arm and out how it hurts. Feels like I pulled a muscle. Oh my god. I hope it wasn't like that one time I pulled a muscle. Um, I'm so rambling on. But yeah, in December 2002, I was on the phone with my husband, and right before his parents were supposed to come to, to America, I was asking him to teach me um, Swiss words. Well, this really has no point, but I was on the phone with him, and then it was this exact arm. I pulled, I, I was bending back, and I pulled it. And, um, so yeah, then I lost, like, I couldn't move this whole arm, but then the next day, it, like, a couple days later, it spread to this arm, and then it spread all the way down to my legs. I don't know what the hell that was, but it lasted for over a month. Freaking crazy. So that scares me every time I pull a muscle, but honestly, I haven't pulled a muscle like that since just now. That felt just like it, so hopefully that doesn't happen again, but that's really weird. I mean, I couldn't even walk, like, on Christmas. It happened, like, a few days before Christmas, and I could not even walk. It happened so fast. It was really weird. And my mom didn't even take me to the hospital. Anyway, it's so random. So ra I'm so rambling on, but yeah. I wonder if these gave me the headache. I don't know. Maybe it was because I just got off my period, and my hormones are all freaking out. But it's really weird, because I not have no headache before I went to bed last night. I don't know what could have caused that, but yeah. Anyways, I'll let y'all go. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. So yeah, talk to you later. Bye.